Students are headed back to college, but the Texas Tribune reports enrollment is still down about 4% statewide since the start of the pandemic. Okay, and 11% drop in community college enrollment. So if you're thinking, should I go, should I not go? What do I do here? Michelle Castro from Workforce Solutions, our morning ray of sunshine is here to navigate the choices. I will say, if you have the choice, go to community college first. You're gonna save yourself a whole lot of money. Mm -hmm. You are 100% right, Lena. I mean, just seriously, it's such a great value. Uh, thank you guys for having me back. I always love sharing some good information. And, you know, right now it's not surprising that we have a drop in college enrollments. And that's because uh, there's so much competition and employers are raising those entry level wages. But at Workforce Solutions, we want to remind you that in the long run, education always pays. Uh, in the long run, you are going to have a much uh, better career and in terms of wages and your overall earnings. And when you think about it, if you have a young person who hasn't committed to college yet, or maybe you're thinking about going back to school, uh, community colleges are always a great place to get started because they are such a great value. Uh, but when you do look at community colleges, there's a couple of things that you want to know. There's two really different tracks when you go to a community college. One is the academic track, and that's really simple. That's really straightforward. That's for the student who knows that they are going to go on to a four-year university. And so uh, when you do that, you want to look at the course catalog for the, uh, the uh, associate's degrees, the associate of arts or the associate of science because those are the credits that are most likely to transfer their design to help students transition to a four-year university. And then on the other hand, there's the workforce pathway. And these are the courses that are meant to help you get the skills to get a good job and to uh, enter directly into the workforce. And those credentials range anywhere from an occupational skills award all the way up to an applied associates of science. And so uh, while those workforce credits typically don't transfer over to a four-year degree, they do tell employers that you are ready to go to work, that you have the skills needed to perform those job functions. And so uh, again, the, the beauty of these workforce credentials is that many of them are stackable. So what that does is it allows you to go in and out of school going to school, getting those awards, uh, going into the workforce and building on both your education and your earnings. And here's a, a really great figure that the Higher Education Coordinating Board gave us. And that is that each year, 22,000 students from community college workforce programs go on to enroll at four-year universities. So even though we all have different paths, um, there's always a great way to get that education and continue to increase your lifelong. Michelle Castro, Workforce Solutions, with some good advice for us this morning. Always appreciate it. We've got a look at the job openings that you can find on mytxcareer.com. A wide range of options there for you, so hopefully that can help somebody out. Thanks, Michelle, so much. You can visit her and the great team there Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. Have a good weekend, my dear. Y'all have a great weekend, too. We appreciate you.